Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are going to talk about the blind well that released with Destiny Forsaken. Uh, we are going to talk about why it is a little dull right now and doesn't have much replay value and what Bungie can do to improve that aspect of the blind well because blind well is very enjoyable and it has a lot of potential to be something great and I think some of these changes that I'm going to name here could do just that. So let's talk about them. So, the Blind Well is similar to Escalation Protocol, Archon's Forge, and Court of Oryx from Destiny's previous releases. It is a public event that is triggered by the player, and it has bosses or just tough enemies with usually a difficulty tier, usually having tier 1, 2, and 3, all with varying difficulties and bosses. The Blind Well is pretty fun to run the first few times, but after a while it gets pretty old and you see that it just kind of drags on and there's just not much to do other than complete the one bounty that Petra gives you to complete the offering to the Oracle. A lot of players see it as a waste of time and a wasted opportunity by Bungie that they could have done something more with the Blind Well. Almost all of these open world arenas have been great, but easily dismissed and became irrelevant relatively shortly after the expansion's launch. The main reason being is that Bungie hasn't added any incentive to really go back into these game modes. Other than Escalation Protocol or Archon's Forge, there are no specific rewards to earn in the Blind Well nor Court of Oryx. Archon's Forge you could earn an entire armor set for your character, as well as Escalation Protocol, and Escalation Protocol added even more with three unique weapons you could earn only in Escalation Protocol. That being said, I definitely think there should be a full armor set unique to the blind well that you can earn, as well as at least three weapons, if not five or six, because there's gotta be an incentive to continue to play blind well, and I think it's smart to add these to blind well because it's an entire game mode that's already been created, all they have to do is add weapons and armor, and this will continue to leave players with a reason to continue to play the game. Now how they could disperse these rewards is, I would say, give boots to be a reward for grinding tier one, Cloak and Chest for Tier 2, Arms and Helmet Chances on Tier 3, and Weapons only you can acquire from Tier 4 Blind Well. I think that is a fair way to disperse the rewards. I think it would incentivize you to run all the tiers to get the full set as well as running Tier 4 as often as possible because weapons are always the most desired over armor. Now on a side note, I do believe that the armor and weapons should have random rolls with maybe a curated roll for each weapon similar to the raid as just another way to keep the replayability up. Now let's say they've added these changes and the weapons and armor have been added into the loot pool for the blind well. Now I think another thing they could do to get people to go back in there and earn both the weapons and armor that are specific to blind well but also something brand new is in one of these annual pass releases they could add an exotic quest that requires you to go into the blind well and complete let's say 20 tier 1s, 10 tier 2s, 5 tier 3s and 5 tier 4s. Something like that where you gotta go in and do something, maybe that's a part of the quest. That could be an incentive or a reason to go back in to earn both the unique rewards from the blind well as well as a new quest exotic. That would be pretty interesting or cool. Let me know what you guys think about that. And maybe a few extra added bonuses, maybe like a ghost shell or a specific shader to the blind well or legendary shards or enhancement cores to be added to the final chest loot pool. That would be very nice or interesting. Anyways, these are just some of my thoughts about the blind well and what they could do to continue to keep it relevant because I don't want to see another one of these open world public event spaces to just fall to the wayside like they have in previous Destiny releases. I think they're a lot of fun and I think they have a lot of potential to be something more than they are. Anyway, so I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Leave your thoughts about the blind well and any other additions to Destiny that you would like to see and I will see you guys in the next video.